So in this video, we're gonna be talking about the new Blackmagic Camera Update 6.6 .6 for the Pocket 4K and the Pocket 6K. Now there's a lot of changes on the Pocket 4K, but I'm only gonna talk about the things that I really care about. Now I've been using the Pocket 4K for over a year now, and I can tell you right now that the only thing missing in this camera prior to today is a gyro leveler, or whatever you wanna call it, bu bubble leveler in camera that most DSLRs have. But with camera update 6.6, .6, my wish has been granted. That is now included in the camera. Now you're probably asking yourself, tripods usually have bubble levelers, but at night when you're shooting and there's no lights at all, I'm having to use my cell phone just so I can check if the camera is level. Now the next thing that I absolutely love about the camera 6.6 .6 is the anamorphic mode. One of the reasons why you would grab a Pocket 6K instead of this is the Pocket 6K has an anamorphic mode internally built in. However, with the Pocket 4K, you now have that option as well. You can shoot 2.8K 4.3 mode up to 80 frames per second in Blackmagic RAW with the new camera update 6.6. .6. Now that is absolutely insane. Now probably one of the things that I love about Blackmagic Design is they are not afraid at cannibalizing their own camera lineup, obviously. Because if you look at it, the Pocket 6K has anamorphic mode and a bigger sensor. Now this Pocket 4K at 1299 also has anamorphic mode. That's good for us because we don't have to buy the more expensive version, the 2500 one, because technically, in my opinion, this thing right here is good enough. In addition to the anamorphic mode, they actually added anamorphic de-squeeze, which only makes sense because if the camera has anamorphic, you need to be able to de-squeeze it without having to use a monitor. And with camera 6.6, .6, that is now in the camera, two times squeeze and 1.33 squeeze, which is absolutely stunning, amazing. Now the third thing that I like about this new camera update is that I might not necessarily use this mode, but you can now shoot at 4K 2.41 at Blackmagic RAW up to 75 frames per second. So people out there might like this resolution, but for me, I usually just crop, I record it the full sensor read out and then just crop in post. But like I said, others out there might want this option for maybe easier on the memory card. Now the last thing that I like about this camera update is the pinch to zoom is now eight times instead of, I think it was two times before. Really great news because before, it was hard to focus with just the two times, but now with the eight times, it definitely helps a little bit more. Now, like I said, there's a lot more changes with the pocket camera 6.6 .6 update so go ahead and check out the website because there's a couple more changes and the pocket 6k also has some upgrades but not as much as the pocket 4k now with that being said guys i absolutely think that the pocket 4k is now complete with the added anamorphic mode 2.8k up to 80 frames per second and the gyro leveler at 12.99 if you can find it this camera is an absolute steal